Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Bell Aqua Mineral Water, proudly Ghanaian. The West Africa Examination Council has said that three papers of the ongoing West African Senior School Certificate Examination have been leaked. The Oral English, Integrated Science and Social Studies papers have all leaked. Some students in some schools in the greater Accra in the eastern regions had access to the examination papers between 12 midnight and 4 a.m. on the day the papers were written. Wayak has been having challenges with leakage of its examination papers for some time now. The council last year cancelled five subject papers in the basic education certificate examination. Hundreds of demonstrators from the Ashanti Regional Branch of the New Patriotic Party hit the streets of Kumasi today in protest against the voters register ahead of the November polls. The demonstration, dubbed Bamu Yada, a Hausa phrase which means we won't agree, was organized in collaboration with other opposition political parties, Let My Vote Count Alliance, Movement for Change and Alliance for Accountable Governance. Wearing red armbands and attars with placards with the inscription Mahama must go, Ghanaians are suffering, the protesters marched through the principal street of Kumasi, demanding for a new voter register. Executive Director of Dankwa Institute, Nana Atubiakweku, said that one of the three South African former security officers who were arrested and reported last month was invited to lecture on security issues ahead of the 2016 elections. Kweku said he saw nothing wrong with inviting Major Ahmed Sheikh Haziz to lecture Dankwa Institute on security issues, adding that no law was breached by the invitation. He argued that Haziz has a security background and that security is a crucial component of Ghana's democracy. Therefore, inviting him to lecture on security and democracy is not out of place. The BNI last month arrested three former South African police officers for allegedly training the new Patriotic Party's private security men on weapon handling, among others. Vodafone Ghana has voluntarily decided to hand over close to 18 of its prime assets to the government and people of Ghana. The company has revealed to Paul business that it is currently taking steps to transfer assets including the Ghana Telecom University to government. Notwithstanding the fact that these are assets legally acquired and paid for under the Ghana Telecommunications Company Limited Sales and Purchase Agreement between Vodafone Group and the government of Ghana, Vodafone Ghana considers them non-core and surplus to its operations, hence the decision to hand them over. Pulse News on the Go, brought to you by Bell Aquamino Water. Proudly Ghanaian.